You know how fast you were going? What? How fast you were going? I don't know. Ten? Eight. Be advised, this is an explicit podcast, so if you're easily offended, get your panties twisted into a knot, turn this off before you get butt hurt and mad, start to cry, have to run to your safe space. All opinions are those of the host and his guest, and do not reflect the opinions of any government agency. Welcome to Motor Cop Chronicles Podcast. <clears throat> I'm here. Host the Ice Man, as usual. And uh, unfortunately, it's that time of the month again. Uh, no, I'm not on my period, but uh, it's the end of a uh, watch episode. Uh, not the, you know, not one of the fun ones that I like to do. Uh, so. Since we usually have so much news articles and stuff to talk about on uh, Wednesday, and we uh, don't want to go too long, and I don't want to eat up too much of the news stuff, and I figured so I'd just come on and do the end of watch tonight, and I didn't have a guest this weekend, and I always like to put something out, so there's not going to be any stories from me this time, but... uh. Like I said we'll, we'll get get the end of watch stuff out the way. You know. Can't say out the way, but uh, I don't like doing it. But somebody's got to do it because nobody else does it uh, either. How you doing, Jed? It's good to see you. Ain't seen you in a while. Glad you were able to stop in. Anyway, I want to get some housekeeping stuff out the way. I've been doing some thinking. There's always stuff always during the week that I'd like to talk about and stuff like that. And I think it's called a a, a group. I was thinking about starting a private group for the podcast where of course you gotta either be invited in or, you know, get permission to come in. You gotta be accepted into the group. And that way during the week if I have stuff or, or you know, stuff that comes up or I see something, I want to talk about it, I'll get on there and put out extra content only on there. Uh, thing is, is kind of stalled out again. I do as much as I can personally to make the podcast grow. And uh, the only way right now I feel like I'm going to get any bigger is with the people that listen to me's help. Uh, if y'all help me out, uh, I appreciate every single one of y'all. Trust me. But if you can like the uh, like the if you watch them on the videos and stuff, <clears throat> like them, share them with your friends, tell your friends about them. See if you can get some other people to join up and listen. You know, um, I know we got probably have a lot of non law enforcement people, but the more people you tell, the more people listen the bigger it gets and to make it, uh, you know, make it, like I said, I'm not charging anybody nothing. I'm just saying make it worth my while to, to do like a members page or group or whatever they call it. I think Bam told me it was called a group to put, you know, more stuff on my plate and put out more content, which would, it'd probably be like 10, a little 15 minute things or whatever. I'd, I could do live on there too but it's just something I was driving into work this morning and I've been thinking about it and I said well let me go ahead and do it and get it out the way also uh, let me put this up here I gotta get the pictures of it uh, right here if you're watching the video or whatever perfectly dysfunctional designs that's BAM's company uh, if you'd like to order a Motor Cop Chronicles t-shirt uh, I think they're going to be like $25. That's including shipping. Uh, I think up to a, a 
an extra large. I think two X's might cost a little extra. Uh, the cups were going to be like probably about $46. That's shipping included. I'll have to get another picture, put it up. It's uh, the 30 ounce cups. I had I had a picture and I lost it. Anyway, it says Motor Cop Chronicles. It's kind of like a, a blue and gray wood grain type thing going on on it. It's got my logo on the back side of it. It says smile. The ice man could be behind you with a little smiley face. And I don't know if it's extra or not. But if you want your name on it or something like that, I don't know if that's extra or not. But if you go to Perfectly Dysfunctional Designs, like I said, the picture's up on the screen. Uh, it's Perfectly Dysfunctional Designs at gmail.com. You can go there or you can go to her Facebook page. I think they, they have pictures of everything she does. But if anybody wants a picture or anything, a uh, picture, <laughs> uh, a cup or a T-shirt for right now, uh, you can go there and order it from her and she'll get it shipped and out and stuff to you. All right. I'm not gonna, like I said, I just had a little housekeeping. Like I said, I appreciate everyone that listens to me. Uh, Australia, uh, Canada, uh, got, you know, Belgium, uh, Great Britain area, United Kingdom, uh, all those overseas people. I uh, know got a few people in Russia and stuff listening. Uh, of course, you know, Texas was the biggest uh, downloaded state this past month. Past, they passed you up, Illinois, and uh, California was right behind them. So, but like I said, I appreciate everybody. But if y'all just tell your friends or whatever, just. Try to spread it if you, using your own social media platform. Just uh, just share it, you know, and help it out. And like I said, maybe hopefully in the near future we'll do a members page or members group, and it'll be stuff I'm not putting out on on this one. You know, where everybody else is, you actually have to be a a, a member to listen to it. So anyway, let's get on with the the podcast part of it since we got that crap out the way I don't like to do it I don't have a bumper sticker <laughs> I don't have bumper sticker <laughs> yeah exclusive content stuff that's not gonna be on a regular podcast platform you won't be able it won't be stuff I'm gonna you know put out it's just gonna be on that but we need some more people I mean, I'm not gonna have a, a Facebook group of like you know just just a couple people in it. I need, you know, to make it at least worth my my time and effort, you know, since, you know, putting in all the time and effort for it. Okay. Let me find them. Anyway, I want to start out. We we know this is the end of watch episode. We'll start out. Besides, you know, the end of watch stuff, I was thinking, this one, I do a lot of thinking when I'm in early in the morning for some reason. I don't know. It's when, my head's the clearest or whatever. But I was thinking besides the end of watch stuff, the problem is there's a lot of uh, law enforcement people that get just injured every, uh, yeah, Jed, I, I thought about the Patreon and, and Discord thing. I, I just don't want to ask people for money to, to do that. I'm hoping eventually to get big enough if the podcast ever gets big enough where people will actually come to me like and want to do commercials and stuff like some of the other ones do make money that way instead of asking you know the people that listen to me to give me money for it I just I don't know I know a lot of people do and I'm not dogging them for it it's just <laughs> I appreciate my my members my listeners enough where I just I don't know I just I'd rather give y'all the content even extra for free than to ask somebody to pay for it. I just like to get big enough to where uh, get big enough where I can get like a commercial here or there or something like that. Maybe that'll help offset some of the cost for me because like I said, everything, I pay for everything out of pocket right now. Uh, Anyway, people, like I said, a lot of people get hurt no, I'm not doing an OnlyFans. Nobody wants to see that. Trust me. They might, they'd probably give me money to uh, turn it off. So, I'm doing that. Fucking 
Ronald. Anyway, officers, law enforcement personnel get hurt all the time. And I'm just going to, I'm not reading the whole story. This ain't going to be a, a full, like, I doubt this is going to be a full hour or anything like that. I don't plan on it anyway. I just want to talk, talk about it. Anyway, like, like I said, people are getting hurt all the time. And they don't talk about it. You don't hear about that. Hell, you don't hear half. You don't hear about half of the 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 law enforcement people that get killed in a line of duty or die in a line of duty. It's that's not news. We all know what they want to see. We all know what the news want. They want something to say. A white cop did something to a black person. That's all they care about. Is the black cop doing something to a black person? They might have a little snippet on it, but it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal unless. You know, that's just the way the media is right now. They they fucking suck. For some reason, they want to make black people and white people dislike each other, and just everybody basically hate the cops. They they got their agenda. You know, it's the wrong agenda. So, anyway, they had one news article I saw. All this is from last month. Uh, two Chicago officers got uh, injured when fireworks exploded near their heads. Uh, <clears throat> I think this was, uh, let's see, give you a little snippet. Uh, it was from July 5th, the story. So I'm sure this happened on the 4th of July night. And uh, they had a little small video on I'm not playing all that tonight. Anyway, they made dozens of arrests, uh, unruly group of teens. Uh, that just comes from bad parenting. And uh, like I said, they, they had some cops get hurt. Uh it said uh, it was over an hour long disturbance, and uh, one officer lost some of his hearing after a large firework exploded near his head. It's like they're shooting. I mean, that that's a weapon. If you're shooting that shit at cops, and but anyway, he, he there there was two right there that got injured that you don't hear much about. And as my Illinois said, you know, Chicago cops got it bad because they don't have any. Uh, Administration that gives a flying hell fuck about them. Uh, the administration in Chicago sucks ass. And those are some uh, Chicago PD guys. I, I'll give that. I've watched a lot of stuff and everything. Uh, videos on. There's some professional guys. They know their shit. And uh, unfortunately, their mayor and chief out there, you know, are a bunch of donkey ball suckers and don't back their people up. This other one came out of the New York Post. It says that NYPD cop was hurt in a clash with the crowd at a Washington Square Park. It says a police officer was spit at and uh, he was injured when a wild crowd at the Washington Square Park. Uh, on a Sunday morning, more than an hour after the NYPD, they, they were enforcing a, a, a curfew out there. I think they had uh, some midnight curfew. So I guess they shut the parks down and... Uh, you know, people aren't supposed to be in it. And this person was 19, spit on the cop. It spit in the cop's eye, which that's, you know, we have this dude's got AIDS or some shit like that. You don't know. Uh, tried to take some uh, barriers down and stuff like that. Uh, some Jason something, 35, he uh, allegedly slapped the officer in his helmet. They were both taken into custody. And, uh, some other people were given desk appearances, which is basically like a misdemeanor summons. Somebody said, you're a fucking chump. One person can be heard repeatedly telling the cops they're fucking chumps. Well, the chump was the motherfucker saying it. Later in the clip, cops, cops can be seen surrounding their targets and uh, losing control of subjects. Anyway, a couple of them were hurt doing that uh, because... They got a bunch of dumb, stupid motherfucking people in New York and a lot of them big cities. I don't know what's up with these big fucking cities where everybody, it just seems like it's just full of stupid people. That's all the ones that are going out doing this stuff because the non-stupid people aren't going to go out and do that kind of shit anyway. Yeah, I, I kind of put you there Jed, I mean, these people, I mean, it's just nasty spitting on somebody. What kind of nasty motherfucker are you? This next one here is, uh, 
It says a woman was killed and two cops were hurt in the Chicago area. Where'd my story go? Uh, in a Chicago area drive through I don't know if y'all had read about that when I had seen this story a couple of times. Uh, some woman went to some drive through at some restaurant. Who had, the restaurant, uh, fast food place, whatever, I'm sure if it was drive through uh, they had already been closed for like half an hour before. She got pissed off because she wanted service and they wouldn't give her service because they had been closed. Uh, she said she had passengers. The passengers got out and complied. She didn't. Uh, I think she tried running over some of the cops and stuff like that, and she ended up getting shot and stuff, but some of the cops got hit by the car and stuff like that, and uh, two of them were hurt there. Like I said, these are just cops that just got hurt in the line of duty. Oakland police officer, Oakdale, I'm sorry, not Oakland, Oakdale police officer injured uh, Christopher Milshin arrested in a hit-and-run crash on South Mag Avenue in Oakdale, California. Uh, it happened July 30th. This happened long ago, uh, just last week. Sustained a heat, the heat. The uh, police officer sustained injuries in a hit-and-run crash. Uh, they arrested a 36-year-old Christopher Milchin. He ran over the uh, Oakdale police officer fled the scene. Uh, like I, said, I don't think he died. He was, you know, injured and had to go to the hospital and stuff. So that that was another person hurt because of just stupid people, just just dumbass people. Uh, this one here. Uh, they had a motorcycle cop hurt in a crash. Uh, this happened July 30th. Let me pull a story up here. Phone was flipping around all over. This was in a, a Springfield police motorcycle officer was hurt in a crash Thursday near Sunshine and Highway 65. Police said a truck swerved into his lane, causing the crash. The truck kept going, but it was eventually stopped. Said the officer's inju- injuries were only minor. Well, let me tell you, he probably got some road rash yet. Road rash hurts. I've had it several times. Probably some dumbass on their fucking phone not paying attention. I had one uh, just in the past year on the interstate. Fucking dumbass come over on me. Thank God I had a big shoulder because I ended up on the shoulder. Kicked us out of their car and shit. Because they just don't look. They don't realize the mirrors are made for checking your surrounding areas, not fixing your fucking makeup or taking a selfie or, or whatever else you're doing with it. This next one here, uh, this happened on the 4th of July. Sheriff's deputy and a police dog was injured in a collision. They both uh, got banged up some, but neither one of them uh, died. This was in uh, Cherokee County. Sheriff's office uh, vehicle was destroyed in a scary collision collision on July 4th. The officer and the canine dog, uh, they were involved in the pursuit when the accident happened. Like I said, they got banged up, but they're going to be okay also. Uh... Two Aurora police officers uh, and a suspect injured in a standoff and a shootout. You know, Aurora. I think we. I think I might have brought that one up or not. Uh, like I said, two more people hurt right there. Boston police officer was injured in Dorchester. Cruiser crashed while responding to a call and three others hurt. In that story, I think he was responding to uh, some type of domestic disturbance or something like that. I'll pull it up and look. There's a lot of... uh... Hello, Jennifer. And uh, they were responding to... uh... I think it was some kind of domestic or something. I don't see it. Anyway. He got hurt in a crash. Look, at anybody out there, if you're responding, running code, you got to be careful because you don't do nobody else no good if you end up getting hurt in a crash. And officers, that could be going to help the person that's calling for backup or something or whoever's needing the help now or some are getting diverted to come help you. So you got to be real careful. I'm not saying it was the, the part, the law enforcement person's fault, but you just got to be real careful. A Southfield man charged in a crash that killed a police dog and injured two passengers 
and the state trooper. Uh, where was this at? This was in Oakland. The Southfield man is facing charges. Michigan State, I'm sorry. Anyway, he's 40 years old. Uh, like I said, more people hurt. Dog dead. Two Baltimore Warrant Apprehension Task Force officers were injured in a police-involved shooting uh, in Baltimore. I mean, it goes on. and I mean, I mean, that was just a few that I pulled up today. You know, you're right. See, none of that shit is going to be in the news. <clears throat> you know, because they don't care. That, that's it. People don't give a shit about cops. Okay. So we did that. We talked about the injuries and stuff. As we can see, I mean, I'm sure there's a, a ton more that I didn't find. You uh, <laughs> know, anyway, we're going to pull up the, uh, the end of watch ones. Uh, I'll give you the number before we start. Of course, you know, of course, they were still too high again. Uh, there was there's a total of 18 this month for July. There was 15 last month, so we went up by three, unfortunately. So far, uh, June has been the lowest month this year for uh, end of watch deaths. So we had a little uptick. So that's, like I said, not what I wanted to hear so, or see. So we'll start out with... Uh, The so reading their names out and stuff. Let's see. Pull it up. First one. If y'all watching live, I put the pictures and stuff up. The first one's gonna be uh, Missouri Department of Corrections. Is in the watch day was Thursday, July first. Uh, this year he died of COVID. Uh, Detective Greg Frenzy of Terre Haute Police Department, Indiana, and the watch was July the seventh. He got shot, gunfire. You hate to hear that all the time. We have a Captain Clay Germany from Wichita Police Department, Kansas. And the watch was July the ninth, twenty twenty one. He died from COVID. Police officer William Earl Collins Junior, Dalen Police Department. Uh, looks like Los Angeles. Uh, he died from gunfire on July the 9th. Sergeant Joshua Blake Bartlett, uh, Lubbock County Sheriff's Office, Texas, and the watch was Thursday, July the 15th. Gunfire. That's that's three right there. Three in this little short period. That that three cops that were shot and killed. And how many of them did you see in the news? None. You didn't see any of those anyway. Detective Juan Alfonso, uh, John was his nickname, Delgado, Bay City Police Department, Texas, and to watch Thursday, July 15th. He died of COVID. We have Reserve Deputy Sheriff Tom Larry Hobbler. Childers County Sheriff's Office, Texas. And the watch was Saturday, June 17th. He had a heart attack. Police Officer Ricky Neal Roberts of McLennan County, McLennan Community College Police Department, Texas. And the watch was uh, July 19th. COVID. COVID took a lot this past month. Sergeant Jeremy Brown, Clark County Sheriff's Office. Uh, in the watch was July 23rd uh, gunfire shot to death Deputy Sheriff Philip Campus Kern County Sheriff's Office California in the watch was July 25th again gunfire you have Deputy Sheriff Courtney Couch Lane County Sheriff's Office Oregon in the watch was July 25th uh, cause of death is she drowned um, I'm assuming I'm, I'm guessing that she was trying to save somebody or something and she drowned 
And uh, this one has been, and the next one has been in the news a lot lately. See, so everybody might have heard about it. this guy was ambushed outside of his own apartment or house. Police officer Marcus Moore of uh, Semi Police Department, Alabama, into watch July 27, 2021. He was shot to death. Uh, like I said, that one's been quite talked about quite a bit. But you hear all these other ones. You're hearing about all these other ones that got shot. Police officer Ryan Bylocky, Red Lake Nation Police Department. I guess it's some uh, tribal police. End of watch was July 27. He was shot to death. Trooper Mitch May, Nevada Department of Public Safety, Nevada Highway Patrol. Uh, end of watch was Thursday, July 29th. Vehicular assault. Somebody ran him over. Supervisory Patrol Agent Daniel Cox, the United States Department of Homeland Security, Homeland Security, Customs and Border Protection, the United States Border Patrol, United States. End of watch was Saturday, July 31st. He died in an automobile crash. We have Police Officer Lewis Andy Trailer, Austin Police Department, Texas. End of watch was Saturday, July 30th, 2021. Automobile crash. Uh, Texas took a lick this past month uh, but they had a, a lot of them actually I believe uh, Texas has the most law enforcement deaths uh, this year so far and that's not a number one spot you wouldn't have for what we had one two three four five six Seven, seven of the the eighteen officers that was killed last month was from gunfire. How many of those did you hear in the news? I heard one. The guy from Alabama. That's the only one I heard. Uh, there were uh, two K nine deaths last month. K nine Rex from the Michigan State Police Department, July twenty fifth. He got ran over also. And then uh, Savannah Police Department, Georgia, July 25th, uh, K-9 Jazz, he died in an um, automobile crash. So they're police officers, too, so they deserve their. But that's uh, all of my, that, that's, that's just too, that's too many that were shot to death. They're saying there's a gun problem out there. No, that's not a gun problem. It's a people problem. The problem is the people. Too many bad guys. Too many politicians running all of these freaking places that let all these dirt bags get away with the shit. The criminals have more rights than the cops do. The criminals have more rights than the civilian population has. The good civilian population. They just want to keep letting them out. Like I said, all these people end up, uh, like I said, died this past month. Too many, too many. COVID did get a few of them. So, I'm not saying it, something else we got them, but I'm actually going to a uh, uh, law enforcement funeral tomorrow. Uh, a couple hours from where I work at, we're actually going to uh, trailer the bikes down, do the Inclement weather. I mean, still high chance of rain. He came pouring down here yesterday. Uh, this this poor guy. He's about my age. I think he's like a little younger. Me. He he passed away from COVID. But we're gonna. He's gonna get his uh, everything we can do for him anyway. So, but we're going. Uh, me to Todd and uh, Squidworth are going down there to do that one tomorrow. So I'll give you a fingers crossed that the the weather holds out for us anyway. Cause, uh, I don't, don't feel like getting all wet doing it, but I'm gonna do it regardless. Anyway, if you get a if you get a chance, go online YouTube. Uh, don't, this is on YouTube, Twitch, uh, and Facebook. If you want to see their pictures of all the people that passed away in the line of duty this past month, hopefully, let's keep our fingers crossed. Every month, I keep my fingers crossed that uh. 
The numbers, I'd love to be able to look at it and not have any, but only have like one or, or two that I would have to spend, you know, that much on it because, like I said, then it's ridiculous. People, people don't care. And nobody's saying their names. Watching some crap yesterday and it pisses me off. You know, somebody's hollering, you know, Brianna Taylor and George Floyd and all that bullshit like that. You know, say their name. I ain't saying their fucking names. Okay. Fucking fentanyl Floyd, St. Floyd over there. And, you know, he was a fucking dopehead, crackhead criminal. You know. I'm not saying he deserved to die. I'm going to say that. And like I said before, you know. Everything was done, you know. Somebody's in jail for 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 it, but you know, Brown Taylor, she wasn't. She she was a part time EMT at one point and wasn't one anymore. And if you lay down with dogs, you get fleas. So that's what happened with that. So I get tired of saying it. They these people need all their names said because nobody's saying it. I don't know. Any other podcast that does it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep doing it. Okay, it's not my fun time. I like to try to be funny and stuff like that. You can't be funny. Sometimes you just get pissed off. All right, so that's all of those. Oh, so put everybody in a great mood. Put myself in a bad mood. I did. I did uh, get my root beer whiskey today and... It is quite delicious. I drank uh, drank it straight, and it was delicious. And I put some cream soda in it, and it was delicious. I'm going to have to definitely order me some more. I got two bottles, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need some more of that stuff. So that crap was, the shit was awesome. All right. Like I said, I'm not running long tonight. We did all that. It is delicious. If you want to be a guest, if you. You know, I, I say it all the time, you know, finding guests is the hardest part for me. You know, uh, if you want to be a guest, if you're a first responder, period, or military, and you like to be a guest, send me an email. Send a message on Facebook. That's going to be the two best ways to get me. I have Twitter. I'm I'm not a big Twitter person. I check it every now and then. Best way to get me is I'm old. Just email me. If you email me. If you know if you know anybody that has emailed me, I'm pretty quick on a response on it. Uh, send me a message. We we can get to, we'll talk. Uh, we'll, I'll give you my number. We'll talk to each other. Set something up. If not, if you just have a story you'd like told, send it to me. I'll read it. I'll keep you anonymous. Also, uh, other than that, I mean, just like I said in the beginning, hey, help me get bigger. Uh, share it on your social media platform to yourself tell your friends and stuff about it like and subscribe to it like I said help me get bigger I'll try to put more stuff out when it's worth my while to do it uh, I don't think anybody's going to want to come to Louisiana to physically to be a guest right now since my, our great governor decided to throw masks back on everybody and stuff like that I might wear a mask when I'm working because I'm in uniform, but uh, nah. When I'm when I'm not in uniform, I will probably have people giving me dirty looks because uh, I'm I don't think they do anything personally. But that's my personal opinion. So, like I said, like and subscribe if y'all want a T-shirt or a cup or something. You'll have to get in touch with Bam, Perfectly Dysfunctional Design on Facebook, Gmail dot com. Just uh. Like I said, hit it up. Hopefully one day I'll have a website and I also looked into something like that. So you know just run your mouth there, ain't you, Roy? <laughs> Why you on YouTube? You because you're in Facebook jail again. <laughs> Frequent flyer. So anyway, like I said, uh I appreciate everybody listening and uh Wednesday will be uh in the news. It's always fun. I feel like they're always entertaining, especially because of all the idiots that are doing stuff. So until Wednesday, y'all come back, see me and Doc. I think he's going to be here. And uh, to remember to smile because Iceman could always be behind you. I'm cranking up.